In 1992, the French army put a new tank into service. This tank would become the successor of the aging AMX-30. The Charles Leclerc is probably one of the fastest and lightest of the Western MBTs. It features a powerful gun and puts mobility over armour. The Leclerc is still the primary MBT of the French army and is probably one of the top five best tanks within NATO. At the end of the Second World War, France had been hit hard. It had endured over four years of occupation by Nazi Germany and her military was almost completely wiped out. Other than a few resistance groups, such as the French resistance, they had no official army. French tank production during the early stages of the war was nearly completely overrun by superior German tanks. Other than a few captured Panthers and Tigers that the French used in the post-war years, the French had no domestically made tanks. At the end of the Second World War, only one design made it to a nearly complete stage, that was the ARL-44. However, that project was abandoned and only a handful were made. There were a few light tanks made, such as the AMX-13 series, however, no medium tank or MBT. Some designs, such as the AMX-50 series, was put forward. These tanks look really nice, especially with the AMX-50's 120mm gun and AMX M4. I might also consider making some in the future, as it seems like they've got a good amount of history behind them, and there is also an interesting concept of oscillating turrets, as seen on the AMX-13. Anyway, back to the story. The AMX-50 program, in short, was abandoned due to economic and political situations, and the American-built M47 Pattern IIs were put into place instead. Next, we move on to the AMX-30, France's version of the Leopard 1. All had been going well for post-war Germany and France, and were both getting along quite nicely, setting apart their differences in the past. In 1956, there were concerns about the M47 becoming outdated for both the French Army and Bundeswehr. A new tank was needed. This tank was intended to be supplied to the majority of countries in Europe and NATO. The Finbel military staff organisation consisted of Italy, Netherlands, Luxembourg and Belgium. It was later extended to Finnebel with the introduction of Germany and France to the programme. It was named the Europanzer and tested at St. Louis on the Franco-German Military Institute. The original concept for the Finnevel 3A5 requirements in 1957 asked for a 30-ton tank with a 105mm main gun. In 1958, the accession of de Gaulle to power made the purpose of the Finnevel 3A5 made with nuclear capabilities. This ended up excluding Germany and Italy in order to prevent hostility from the US and UK. In the end, the Germans went for the rifled L7 105mm gun, which was also licensed by Britain instead of the French-made 105mm gun. Italy as well as Germany left the project and that ended the project. The French would further develop this concept into various prototypes which eventually turned into the AMX-30 series. The AMX-30 featured torsion bar suspension as well as good armour and mobility and showed some areas in which it could easily be improved. However, the AMX-30B was in need of serious upgrades, such as the new transmission which was developed in 1938. The next tank was the AMX-32. It was designed as an improved variant of the AMX-30. The turret was completely reshaped after being completely welded. It also featured a new panoramic sight for the commander as well as eight periscopes on the cupola. Although this seemed like a pretty good tank for the foreign countries to use, there would be no orders at Euro Saturn. The next development stage of the AMX-30 was the AMX-40. It was designed for both export markets and for the French army itself. The prototype was partially based on the AMX-30B2 and was presented at Euro Saturday in 1983. In the next two years, two more prototypes were made and were designated the AMX-40E4. The armour was better than the AMX-30s, featuring a perforated and laminated steel. It could protect itself from heat and sabre rounds. However, its protection was extremely weak for the 90s. The first initial thoughts of replacing the AMX-30 came as early as 1971. The engine principal prospective program indicated that new Soviet MBTs were still much better than the AMX-30. Some new specifications to the next design were published in 1977, and once again the French turned to West Germany. West Germany was already working on a program to supersede the Leopard 1. The program was the Kampfpanzer III. 
The French called their own design the Napoleon I. This was signed three years later in 1980 for the joint development, however there were some disagreements which eventually rose to both nations deciding to venture out into their own domestic designs. Also a new program with the USA also failed. The AMX-48 or EPC program, Engine Principal de Combat, was a French plan in order to create a new MBT. Other options were considered such as a license-built Leopard 2 or a M1 Abrams. Even thoughts of a license-built Merkava were even put forward. However, this was rejected by the French army as they wanted to have an active form of protection instead of a passive projection. The MX-32 and 40 both helped the concept of less armour but excellent mobility. This new tank needed to have almost double the armour of its predecessors. This resulted in the need for 400mm of RHA equivalency, particularly for kinetic energy penetrators. This could only be achieved with a tank weighing over 50 tonnes. When the project was well underway in 1985, thoughts of a partnership with another army to reduce the overall unit cost were considered. With extremely good relations with the UAE were also operated the AMX-30, they helped secure another batch of 400 vehicles. The name given to the Shah Leclerc is in memory of General Philippe Leclerc de Hauteclerc, who led French forces in North Africa and in Italy, and also helped liberate Paris in 1944. The development of computers meant that designs could be done digitally, however drawing boards were still used. The project took six years to develop and the first six prototypes were delivered by Giat. The first batch of four tanks were sent to foreign countries to undergo comparative trials. There was later a batch of 17 tanks, which included many modifications to the turret and hull armour. The series was modified in total of three times and was evolved from 1998 to 2008. The Leclerc is much more compact than the previous AMX-30, although it still raised around 54.5 tonnes compared to the 43.7 tonnes of the AMX-30. The smoke discharges are integrated to the rear of the turret, which is quite a unique feature. It was further modified in the late 2000s, and the armour consists of modular blocks with composite armour which could be replaced quickly in need of upgrades. Chorbom armor was also considered, however rejected as it is too optimized to defeat hollow charge weapons, whereas French systems are less specialized to counter both Sabre and hollow charge rounds. The Azure Urban Kit comes with additional side skirts with consisting of composite materials, as well as bar armor on the hull. Also, a special modification was made to the engine deck which reduced the chances of damage inflicted on the engine in event of a handheld Molotov cocktail or petrol bomb hitting and damaging the engine. This was primarily used by the UAE in 2011, however the French army also tested it. There has also been a few AEVs made from the Leclerc chassis such as the Leclerc EPG, which is an excavator arm which can be fitted with a clamp, shovel or other modifications. An additional mine clearing kit has also been installed. A concept for converting some early Leclerc hulls into heavy reconnaissance vehicles in a similar style to the BMP T1. Some of the features included a vast array of armaments, which ranged from two 80 GMs and a 40 mm gun to an entirely brand new turret. However, this design never made it into service. One very big issue with the Leclerc is that there are very few export variants. This is because it's very expensive. Only few nations, such as the United Arab Emirates, could afford to purchase this MBT. The wealthy UAE is one of the only countries to be able to afford a number of Leclercs. One Leclerc costs around 6.5 million euros, compared to the 5 million for a Leopard 2A6, or 4 million for a Challenger 2. Only today that the South Korean and Japanese Type 10 exceed this price, which might be a sign of growing military strength in East Asia. Also, the Euro devaluating might also increase prices for both the K2 and Type 10, both being around 8 million euros respectively. So, that brings us end to this short video about the Leclerc. Sometime in the future I might make a longer video about it. Also, I would like to give a shout out to DK Esperix. He is a great person to talk to. He makes large aircraft out of Lego, so please be sure to check him out. He's nearly finishing a 747-200 and is starting a 777-9X. It'll be great if you could spend a few moments checking out his channel. The link will be in the description. Well, that's it for me today. If you want to see more, then you can check out my videos to the Leopard 2A6 and Challenger 2. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.